What's up, everybody? This is Eric from Eats Computer Solutions. So it's 2020, and we're starting to see a lot of older devices get update to the new operating system, or we're starting to see a lot of bug fixes with some older devices. And when I go through my comments, I read a lot of comments about updates, and I think a lot of people get confused about who's supposed to get updates and when this update's supposed to happen. And let me address how updates happen in layman's terms. Sit back, relax, and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric back with another video. So I'm out here at the park filming and I kind of scrolled through my comments and I see a lot of good bad comments about software updates. I think a lot of people get confused about software updates and I want to kind of address that in kind of easy terms. As you know, in 2020, we started to see a lot of older devices get updated to the new operating system. Or we started to see a lot of bug fixes with a lot of older devices, which is a good thing because when you spend, when you spend a lot of money on phones, you want to see updates. You want to see the next iteration of Android. You want to see all your bug fixes. You want to see that, which is a good thing. This is what you paid for. Uh, but I think a lot of people get confused on how updates work. So I want to kind of address that in, in kind of layman's terms. So let's talk about software updates. Uh, Android released a new iteration of Android every September or so, right? And uh, most of your Android phones, like your Pixels, usually get them first. Well, we started seeing a lot. We started seeing a lot of phones get uh, the new iteration of Android before Pixel, but that's how it works, right? The Pixel usually gets it first, uh, and then a lot of other devices follow suit. Now, as far as the timeliness of updates, that's based off of different elements. Like you have different uh, parts of the world, uh, different regions uh, that get software updates before others. Sometimes you have unlocked phones, right? They sometimes get updates faster than carrier devices. I'm in the United States, so I'm bound to my region and when I get updates. So I see in the comments sometimes people say, well, easy, I, I received this update two months ago, or I received this update a week ago, or some people put in the comments that, where would I get this update? Uh, and it all depends on your carriers. It all depends on the region you live in. It all depends on a lot of different factors. Now, a long time ago, we had this myth that if you buy an unlocked phone, you get your software updates first. Well, that myth has been debunked because we start to see a lot of carrier branded devices get updates before unlocked devices. So, you know, it all depends. Now, we know that the carrier devices like, like to put their bloatware and test it and everything in between before they deploy it out uh, to the masses. And then when they deploy it out to the masses, they have to deploy it in different regions, different sections of the world. So when you talk about software updates, which we all beg for, we all want it, we all want our software updates, sometimes they don't get to us faster than others. I'm out here filming and I'm going through my comments, it's early in the morning, and I see a, a, a lot of comments about software updates, and it, I just wanted to address that because, look, here's the thing. Some people that start to follow me is new, which is great. Welcome to, to my YouTube channel. Please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Uh, and I think uh, it's my, me, I need to educate people on how software updates work. I, listen, in a perfect world, when we hear online that software updates hit devices, we all want it at the same time, all the unique features and everything in between. But unfortunately, sometimes when you see stuff online, say that this person got a software update, it may take months before you get your software update. When do I know you're gonna get a software update? I have no idea. These factors of comments that I get, it, it, it you know, I think if people get confused on software updates and I look at how software updates really impact some of the techies, uh, some of the average consumers that's concerned about software updates because the device, the older devices is lagging out on them and they want to get uh, some, you know, bug fixes and stuff like that. I do understand and I wish in a perfect world that software updates could hit everybody's device at the same time. But unfortunately, it don't. I hope this clarified uh, anybody questions about software updates. 
And look, here's the thing, as a consumer, you have every right to get your software updates. You have every right to complain that your device that you just spent your hard earned money on uh, hasn't been updated. So you have every right to complain about it. Uh, but it's nothing that me as a tech YouTuber uh, could do about software updates. Oh, wow. This is Eric Fumis Computer Solutions. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about software updates in all its glory. See you guys on the next video. Peace.